Cheating is expensive. So when people be like, yeah, I got this one chick, this two chicks. Let me tell you, the, the way these rappers think they making their money and buying all this jewelry and then mm -hmm. I be seeing them contracts, <laughs> they be owing it. They be going to take that jewelry back. Mm -hmm. Me? <laughs> I think longevity. <laughs> right, but what that got to do with love and having somebody love, in your corner saying, and having... It's hard to have someone in the corner when you're on the road. It is. So if I'm doing 26 cities and I say, okay, Let's choose. Take it with you. You're not getting, sweetheart. Can I speak? Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know. You know me. I get a little crazy. Reason why you in these situations? I'm not in no situation. I'll be running. Listen, if I say, because not every show you gonna make. You know what I mean? So if I say, all right, here's my 26 cities, right? 26 cities. Now, if I got 26 cities, and you only choose 13, the other 13, I gotta gain your trust. Right. I'm on the road. Now, trust and believe me. I'm a dog on that stage. Right. I'm a different animal. I don't care what the followers say or nothing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't care about the little 20.8K. That's cool. Mm -hmm. When I get on that stage and I grab a crowd, you do what you guarantee do. you, you will feel like you went to an arena to go see your boy. I done did theaters, arenas, auditorium. I done did it all. You know what I'm saying? Right. But it's hard after a show when you get the, he funny and he cute. Mm -hmm. And the bitches. And the DM get. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know. You know what I'm saying? So, I wish I was you. But a person like me, <laughs> I really don't entertain because I like to sleep alone mm -hmm. on the road. Was you an only child too? No, hell no. Nah, hell no. Nah. I had I had what they say middle child syndrome. Oh, okay. Middle child. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So my my <laughs> my mom my mom had three kids and my stepdad had nine and my mom adopted a child. Oh wow. Yeah, so, oh wow. Yeah, so That's amazing. Yeah, so we I keep in touch with all my siblings except mm -hmm. two, but life goes on. But when you're on the road, you get booty. You can, but then you don't have to. Okay. You know what I mean, like me, I'm, I'm. Is it too much pressure for you? Like nah, you know, you can't hold it down if you did have one woman. It's too much. Pressure. No, it's not even that because I could be on the phone all day with you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like when I'm in tour mode and it's time for show. One... So not one woman can make you feel like, damn, I can't wait to go home and see this bitch. I've, I've had one, but. Rushing to marriage. I was 25 at the time. Bitch, I ain't ready. <laughs> like, bitch, I, I just got off my mama couch and got a room. Like, the fuck is you thinking? Do you regret it? Do you ever think like, of Hell no, I regret her? it. That bitch still ain't married. <laughs> 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 I ain't married, you ain't married. <laughs> <laughs> we both Right, same right, fuck it. Can y'all get back to y'all talk? Can y'all no. talk it out? She got me certain shows. I see yeah. it from time to time. But you have y'all changed too much over the time? Who oh, she come to some shows? You know what I'm saying? She be checking for me, but I don't. You clapping them cheeks? No. Oh, okay. I'm cool. I'm like, so like nosy. I'm always in somebody's business. Nah. I mean, I mean, people like that. Like, I, I, sometimes once you move on from a situation or a relationship, once I'm done, you guys I'm done. outgrow. Yeah, and then yeah, you I'm outgrow done. each other. This spin blocks. Next thing you know, he done did time, and now he come out here a whole other nigga. Spin or block, she... It's only for one reason. <laughs> like, let's. Let's get it. Yeah, yeah, all right. I'm not here to rekindle no fucking. Are you crazy? Like right. the, that candle been burnt twice, bitch. Mm -hmm. No, but I know. Even if it's just for sex, I feel like those relationships that you know were so deep that even when you guys decided to go separate ways, oh, we live together and everything. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Get, After a know, while, I don't give a fuck. After you know, a while, I, it goes away. My my daddy didn't do shit for me. I don't give a fuck. You understand? <laughs> I treat women with respect. But once you're gone, you're gone. I don't give a fuck. But it didn't seem like you guys ended on bad terms if she's still Oh, no, we ended cause... on terrible terms. <laughs> terrible? Okay. I was about to say, that's your the daddy, only... Your, your, your daddy was in our business. <laughs> and I didn't even check him. I just said, hey, you want to pay the rent? Oh, I didn't shut so the So the family... Up. See, that's that family that shit. That's the family that's shit. That's that family you shit know, I be that's talking why about. I said, don't involve the family in a situation. It was an argument on a situation of where I took a picture. I took a picture... A girl put her arm around me. I'm not big. I tell people all the time, let me get my space. But I tell you, I was inebriated. <laughs> she put her arm around me, and I was, you know, quick picture. Why are you letting them touch you? I told you about this first and foremost, bitch. <laughs> this is paying our bills because she paid me $40 to take this <laughs> picture. picture. No one else even paid me for a picture. <laughs> they just took the picture. She gave me 40 bucks, bitch. <laughs> So this 40 bucks is going to go towards something, okay? You go get your eyebrows done. You go get your nails done. It ain't got to be painted, but you can get something done. So we talking, and when I get home, and, no, I'm still stuck on the girl. What you want to know about the girl? 
going through the following scene, da, 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 the girl posts me, great me and you, pure soul, so genuine. The next picture she posts, it's me, her, and her husband. I said, don't you feel stupid? That doesn't mean that you did. She didn't want to fuck you. That's crazy. I said, you got to be the dumbest motherfucker in America. So that right there turned me off to be in a relationship of thinking, let me propose. Because if there's no trust, there's nothing. Then there's no foundation. Everything starts with a foundation. Mm -hmm. We talking old school loving and marriages, right? Yeah. Your mom was married, right? No, nope. uh, my mom was married twice uh, to my sister's father. I mean, we had some very folks in my family. And then my <laughs> no, then my stepfather, rest in peace. Him. My stepfather had his demons, but he was a great guy. You know what I'm saying? He had his demons, but you don't find that love anymore out here. You know what I'm saying? That's why I always say most of these women are rental. When the bag runs out, your car could be parked in front of your house. That bag run out, that repo is going to the next nigga that want to buy Most of these men car. are barely a rental because you can't even... You, you ain't got ain't worth a damn thing. You, you can put a damn thing on ain't worth a me. damn thing. You just I'm over here, you just want to... long term. You just want to get I'm your squirt on. <laughs> I'm long term. term Don't long-term. be over here thinking that you're just going to be calling women rentals and we ain't going to have a comeback. Look, the, 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 a lot of these men ain't worth are a damn thing. Are you in a thing. relationship? I don't want to talk about my current status. So right now, you you what you're doing is... I'm you're, happy. No, no, no. You're, take, you're taking in- inquiries. I just don't... No, yeah. no, no. I just don't want to tell the yeah, internet my business. She just don't want to talk oh, about you're it. In it. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, you just told it, so finish it. Like <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm getting from what the hell she's saying. Elaborate. I don't tell my business because, again, from belly, it's yeah. just like when somebody's on the internet and they post a picture of somebody and then all of a sudden that's when no, all hell breaks loose and it's like, person. damn, why did I post that's that picture thing. today? I'm very private when it comes to my relationship. Right. That's why very I just choose private. not to bring it to work. Like, is it like Carisha couldn't deal with me because I ain't posting you. Ain't nobody gonna know we together. Uh-uh. <laughs> right. And then yeah, why yeah. does that have to cause issues in the relationship? Why the fuck does it matter what other people know? No, it's not that. But, but it's not what people know, it's what people can say. Like strangers, but it's strangers. But that's my thing. And it's, what, it's also what people don't know. It, it's because like, if uh-huh. they don't know that you're in a situation, they don't know to back off. Right. Yes. So that's it's true. It's, so easy for you to entertain something when you're outside and you're not with me because you're yeah, so private. Absolutely, but sometimes being private, there's certain reasons why. For example, like even when it comes to being a single mom or being in a relationship and then being with a perfect person for a certain amount so of time, and then your life now. No, okay, I'm just saying, like, it, baby, no, I'm mom, I'm saying in general, die. these are just nah, baby, keep these talking. are topics. Sip a little so when you, you finish that drink. Keep- I've been finished. Give me some more tequila. You might as well pull a bitch up. No, I'm just kidding. No, but like when you when you when you have different situations, like people are so judgmental or people think they know what's going on and they don't know. We have so many topics on the show, for example, and I'm just like, I hear y'all, but it ain't exactly that. And it's only but so much you can say, and it's only but so many ways that you can prove like like, okay, I'm go- I'm experiencing it, or I know it. Or it's not always the woman that doesn't want to be, ma- I mean, the man that doesn't find a woman to marry, or it's not always the man who has the upper hand. It's not always that. Sometimes a bitch just don't want to deal with a nigga's shit. Like, it's not always that a man is the catch. Sometimes so, it's the- there's really good women out here so that just want better for themselves in general. About your I'm not telling y'all about it. Right in- I'm okay. talking about in so, general so why. The guy that she's dealing with right now, you just heard. Maybe she got the upper hand. First of all, we're live. You better stop starting drama in my life because I'm going to come live with your ass. Now, when I move into your motherfucking apartment because you want to start drama in my life. How you going to move with me? I'm going to find your ass because you said you live in Connecticut and and I'm very familiar. You telling people where the fuck I live? (laughs) You telling people my motherfucking business. So at the end of the day, you got to be ready. You you want to throw it, you got to You got to throw it and then, you know, you got to be ready to receive. So what up next? What's next? I don't know. (laughs) Oh, all right. Yeah, you better be careful. (laughs) Best be more careful because I might have, I might put some AirPods in your car. So (laughs) you mean (laughs) AirPods? So I can track exactly where you live in. No, AirPods. No, no, no. Put them under the seat. Yeah, (laughs) AirPods. Fully charged. So crazy. I had some AirTags um in in a rental. I was like, oh shit, how the fuck this? Mm, yeah, happened? and they know exactly I was in where front you of the at. Club. She was like, you're in front of the comedy club. I'm like, nah. She was like, Air <laughs> yes. club, you stupid bitch. And that's crazy, right? It's too much technology. <laughs> that is the reason why relationships are so messed up. Social media, air tags, d- phones. Everybody's sneaking and having people locations. No, but it's, and that was so crazy. Though. I literally had this conversation on my way here. Like, it's too much. So you I take told- a picture and your location of when you took the picture and what time you could press it and there's a live picture and now you can hear the bitch or the nigga voice in the background that took the picture. It's just too fucking much. So I told this person today. I said, 
um, I was like, I checked your flight status, so I knew that you were landing. Crazy. Earlier. So you told her, and then they were like, guy. what? Yeah, you told they the were guy. Like, Just um, say that. Like you, you checked my flight status. I said, yeah, I mean, I had to. They were like, you stalking me, and I'm like, it's not no stalking. privacy. I'm mean, like, I don't got your location, so. I, no, you do have the location yeah. because you know where he's landing. Exactly. And I am so bad with privacy. I am so uh, bad with not it. having privacy. Oh, it so drives wait, me crazy. Y'all are, oh, I get it. Y'all don't yeah, have, I feel like, like it's normal to check somebody's flight status. Y'all got a little trigger with y'all. That's normal? No. What? I mean, just for... Not the way you said it. Today. Wait, what do you mean y'all got something? What do you mean? It don't yeah. sound like you linking up with them. I mean, I was on my way here, so no, I wasn't linking. No, you anyone. had you got another event that you've been planning. Yeah, I heard. Anyways, I <laughs> it's a thing. <laughs> what do you mean, y'all have a? What were you gonna say, Marcus? Because I know. What that were the you gonna say? Because you were like y'all something. Checking. I'm just checking. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, I'm saying. We're y'all. saying the opposite. <laughs> She's saying she checked me. I don't like nobody checking nothing that I got going on. I don't want to check in about not a damn thing. Don't check my status on my flight. <laughs> And I don't check not a damn. You could. Yo, at I one did. point, what? No, I, my mom always said a good thing. I, I, I don't call me a mama's boy. Just call me understanding. <laughs> don't go looking for what you don't want to see. I'm not doing that. It ain't no point. I'm not looking through no phone. Huh? No. Nope. What comes in the dark going to see in the light, right? I used to have an open phone and, and everything was on it. But I'm just like, so what? Like. What is this? What is the big? Uh, most of the time, I think I have two phones. So. <laughs> okay, so then. No, I have a, I have a phone where it's like I won't answer. I'll give it anyone like yo, what's your number? Man, yeah, this is the number. I, I won't answer it. Mm-hmm. So I already know. I'm like yo, text me. So I will store the number. So I know like oh, I ain't answering it. Yeah. You can text me. I right. Don't even answer it. Right. My main phone of like business and things like that. All I'm doing is referring you to my manager. Hey, I'm a uh, uh, call my manager, and that's it. There's nothing else to talk about. Right. I mean, when my family called me, it's like, I I tell them, I ain't got Kevin Hart money, so <laughs> you looking the wrong way. I got a couple of dollars, but it ain't Kevin Hart money, so you over here thinking like, yeah, mind me, I think my house pipe burst. <laughs> my house pipe burst. Your house pipe burst. <laughs> you might want to start a GoFundMe. <laughs> Because I ain't got it. I don't even live in the house. <laughs> well, I'm a bitch your shit. Right. Uh, I was struggling to get a front door, man. I tell tricks all the time. It's holiday butt boost. For me. Right. Prove me. My first date, I go to Applebee's. <laughs> you got to go to Carl. No, go to no. Fridays at least. They got the whiskey. No, I don't yeah. need none of that. Applebee's. Okay. You know why? It ain't even got no flavor. Nope, it ain't even that. It's Olive not even Garden. Two for 20. It's not even Olive Garden. I don't want to waste my time. So if the, I, I love a conversation. A person like me, I put my phones on the table. Mm-hmm. I want to talk. Right. I want to have a conversation. I want to get to know you. Now, people are like, hold on. Hold that thought. Mm-mm. Why you would I go. go to Ruth Chris and all of this? If you're going to be on the phone. And you on the phone. Agreed. Now, what turns me off, I tell any chick, any chick, look at this. <laughs> Don't go to a restaurant. Record the food first. And I don't care if you don't believe in God. At least go. go <laughs> At least. Don't go. Eating good. But I'm... we at a certain age now, like, y'all got to stop doing that. Cause... No, th- 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 that's what you're not getting. We're at a certain age where I'm getting older. I'm, I'm, I'm 32. I, I, I see women that's older than me that be like, yo. It's so, like, it's become way too much. Chris or Morton's bitch? Right. <laughs> You never had really? a piece of cow back. You never had a piece. Of you never been a little butter. <laughs> like what's what, what? What? What is your? Who raised you, bitch? It's so annoying. It's crazy it's because when I go out, every time I go on the, uh, the for you page, it's always a bitch and stay less. less. Mm-hmm. Have you always. ever? Fairly new though, no, so I'm not gonna. You. Everything is overcrowded. No, I don't tell people where I go anymore no, when I find a place. You know what? I'll tell y'all after. I don't want people to know. Yeah, this. exactly. Me too. Me yeah, too. This, Me too. This, this right here is going to save you a lot of money. I went to a drive-in movie theater the other day because of this page. Oh, it's really? Amazing. Yeah, I don't want Don't tell nobody. Don't even tell us. Keep it for yourself. Uh-uh. Don't tell us. No, because then y'all don't know. It gets all ghettoed up yeah. or not even ghettoed up. It just gets too busy. Then you the one who told people, and now you in the back of the line and can't even get in. Yeah. And that's they why I stopped say, telling I people stuff. at the table. Right. Nah. Yes, that I said cuts and slices. 
Yeah, because niggas keep putting. Yeah. I can't go there now because it ain't no goddamn. They run out of slices by the time I get to the damn door. Well, thankfully, I tried it before it became popular. That's what I'm saying. So now you can't enjoy everything because everything is just oversaturated. You can't do anything. No, nah, when I show you this. Everybody's becoming the same person. I'm telling you. A rooftop date is gonna be amazing when you you look at me. I'm like, damn, Marcus, how you find this? I know what you're talking about. It's in Jersey. No, oh. it's a page, and it's just trust me. Will you tell us if, after? If you available for a date? <laughs> I take you. No, you won't. What are you? What are you not hearing? No, you won't. We don't share this kind of info. You go, when when y'all gonna cut this right here? <laughs> this is where y'all stop the recording. But y'all not gonna be. Oh yeah, no, we ain't gonna. We not gonna tell nobody. No, we not gonna tell nobody. I'm not saying it. We like, not gonna. Yeah, don't say it. Because I got a few places too. The reason of dating, right? And I say it because we was talking about proposals. Dating nowadays is no longer getting to know a person. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, it's like in. in no, no, <laughs> you can contest to this because watch how I kill this shit. Kill it. You get an Instagram. I'm cool. Not you, but just per se of people. Right. Mm -hmm. People see the social media aspect of things to see if they will mess with this person. Mm -hmm. You understand? I tell you this is a true story. Met a dude on the train the other day. Had to go pick up my car. Going, I'm on the train. Dude talking, talking, talking. Dude got 2,000 followers following 5,000 people. I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, damn, that's a lot of people you follow. Not knowing this dude is a Multi-millionaire. Production manager, mm -hmm. multi-millionaire, write scripts, do it all. Mm -hmm. He said, hey, man, just seen your profile. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're funny. You're hilarious. We got to mm -hmm. sit down. I'm over here like, Nigga. I just try to play you. <laughs> so that's what I mean. Like, I we, never operate that way. I never do. No, no. Not saying I try to play. I just look like No, no, no. Has, Just in but, general. That's you. Me, I don't do that. I don't judge a book by its cover. Right. Because me, when I walk in certain situations, I'm a sweatsuit guy. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are like, comedian, sweatsuit, thug. Mm -hmm. Nah. Me, I'm on that Tupac shit. Right. <laughs> you don't respect me how I pull up. Right. You feel what I'm saying? I'm going to speak my mind. I'm going to speak it how I speak it. When I get on that stage, it's only a couple things off limits. Mm hmm The LBGTQ community. <laughs> <laughs> In politics. Yeah. Other than that, you gonna get everything's it. a go. Right. Feel your type of way. Because those are the only motherfuckers that's going to cancel me. <laughs> white people want to cancel me? Cool. <laughs> I got white manager, white agent. <laughs> what are we talking about here? Oh, the one that was abusive? Uh, he's not He's not speaking up for himself. Yeah, he not. And and, and when I we going... He was told not to, though. No, you have to. Well, uh, my thing is this. Mm -hmm. Tiffany Haddish, you try to cancel her something for something said. for a favor. Was, and and if, you see, if you see that skit, that was a favor. Mm -hmm. Nothing against Ari Spears. That was a favor. Mm -hmm. I'll do this. But the crazy thing is, it's a skit, but that's still real life things that's going on in black, mm -hmm. black homes and even different homes mm -hmm. that sometimes you let a person in your career. Your career yep. yeah, it's like, you know what? Ah, yeah, you don't know watch who... the kids, don't know the background. And now all of a sudden... Your daughter grows up to be 16 and is... She done been touched by somebody or yeah, whatever. now she explained. Mm -hmm. And the whole time you've been blind. Mm -hmm. So she made a real life skit, but we said, boom. Now, no disrespect because you watched the Kardashians and stuff. <laughs> but if a white person made that, no disrespect to no anybody. If Adam Sandler made that with somebody else, let him be like, that is real. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When the black person does, I mean that's it. with everything with black people though. Yeah, like you, but, there's so much cancel but culture. This is the narrative. Yeah, I tell people like this: don't give me shit that you think that's gonna get canceled. Mm -hmm. Cause me, I'm unapologetic. Yeah, you come and ask me some shit. Yeah, how did you feel that this happened? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> right. I, I stand on my shit. Mm -hmm. Fucking the, no PR. They, they tell me all the time, you need to be off for what? I'ma speak my mind. I'ma stand on my ten. I'm like, all that. We're not doing all that. I'm not being apologetic to nobody. Everybody's trying to make everybody like specific individuals. Everybody is like, oh, you have, like, for example, like the healing of traumas, and everybody just, like I just said, everybody is becoming the same person almost. Did you have trauma? Did I have trauma? I don't really know. Oh. I'm like you. I don't, everybody's becoming the same yeah. person. Everybody is wanting to look alike. 
everybody wants to look the same. Everybody wants to be here. Aesthetic. Nobody's. Know. Everybody's losing their own mind, like their own individuality. Uh, individual individuality. Yes. You everyone think is so? absolutely everyone. What aspect though? Because all of the women want to look alike. Mm. All of the men want to want to live a certain lifestyle. Everybody yeah, wants the same experience. So every girl you go out with, you said she's recording food first. You know what's crazy? Man, I didn't say, whoa, whoa, don't mistake me. I said, please don't. 